Hello, this is the programmer from Warrior Tech Team 12231. In this video, I'll show you how to set up Android Studio with uh, the FTC app. You're going to want to go to GitHub using this link here, FTC app, and uh, download it here. Download the zip, which I've already done here. You're going to want to go to the folder. The zip is in and extract it. Drag them out there. And then put it somewhere you can find it. Now I'll just open up Android Studio while I'm doing this. Takes a while, obviously. Then you're going to you're going to want to open or import a project, I mean, and navigate to where you stored it, and just select that folder and hit OK. Perhaps nearing the completion here. There we go. And of course, we're given some tip. You can open your project up with this here. And you can see the app here. Of course, Gradle's still doing stuff down here, so we can't really mess with it yet. Right, it looks like we're missing uh, SDK here, so you just want to install that if you get that. Otherwise, somewhere up here, if it doesn't give you that message, you can find the uh, SDK manager, I believe. And you can open that up and download the SDK you'll need, which I believe it's a 23, which would be Android 6. Change that. I suppose is why it's best not to have a space here in your username. But we can just change this to something else apparently. And just type in. SDK, I'm just make a folder fall back here and use that. And then I believe I just hit next. And it will spend some time installing the SDK. Here that also mentioned this fairly common practice to uh, use to put projects directly on the C drive here, usually in a folder called dev, but I already had one of those that had nothing in it, so I 
just decided to make the Android SDK separate for some reason. They may have been smarter to put it in dev, but it's next to it for now. Uh, usually it's done to prevent uh, any conflicts with names, like if somebody were to download somebody else's project and try it out, they would want to be able to uh, have the same directories and such, and it's a lot easier to replicate that when it's only C slash dev or what have you. Something lots of people do. Looks like we're making it to the emulator. Alright, now the SDK is up to date as it says. So let's check that it installed the right version we need on. No, it doesn't look like it. Looks like we'll still have to get 23 there. All those two components. Accept these agreements. This shouldn't be quite as long as the previous step. done installing Android 23, so uh, Rado should be happy now. There we go. Okay, we're still missing the build tools. Just have to install those. And hopefully we'll be done installing them. Let's see if Gradle's happy. Alright, here we go. Now we've got our two projects. This one up here is, uh, see it's got some samples here, if you can look at. And uh, copy them into the other. The other project here, if you want to try them out, but I believe this is a just the dependency of the uh, team code here, which is where you program your your own uh, programs by default inside of this folder or this uh, package. So it gives you a little bit of a tutorial on how this works here. I won't go through this, but uh, basically, if you want to create your first stop mode or program you want to right click this person yeah, something just going on There we go. Now if I right click here, hopefully, yep, there we go. Create a new create a new there we go, Java class. That was a strange thing to call it. Now you can call it something uh, my first op mode perhaps. And I'll just manually type the rest of the stuff we need. Can just basically to you know, make sure it works, just uh, extends uh, extend linear op mode there, which will then automatically import this from that from the Qualcomm package listed here. And getting into the list. 
list on your phone. I'm going to type Tony off and then alt enter to automatically import, of course. So, uh, this this annotation here will uh, tell the app it needs to put that into the list of programs once you build it. You can set the name of it here in this string here, in the group of it in this string here, which will uh, multiple op modes in the same group will group together on the phones. So uh, maybe tests and this can make another group and uh, the first op mode can be the name. And of course we need a This is uh, being overridden from the abstract class linear op mode. I believe it's abstract anyway. We can put override here just to uh, remind ourselves that this isn't just something we made, it's overridden from the from here in the linear op mode. Uh, it, it's, it's optional to put this, but uh, it looks nice, I suppose. Wouldn't give us an error if we would uh, comment this out or anything. It's, it's optional. And I suppose that's it. This would, if you uh, plug in a phone with the play button here, uh, of course your phone has to have developer mode enabled and whatnot. If you uh, would just uh, select it and build it to that device, it would. So it would uh, be put into the phone and you'd be able to run it, but of course not much would happen here. Basically just the same thing I still need to stop right away. So uh, I suppose that's it and how to basically get it get everything set up here.